Hello everyone, today I am going to create the structure of irregular triangles in Revit using the messing technique. You can use this method to create facade of buildings, ceilings, pavilions and much more. But before we start with the tutorial, let me ask you to like and share my videos, leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. Also if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. So now let's start. Open a new architectural template file in Revit. Now here I am going to go to the north elevation and I am going to place level 2 at 40 feet. All of these dimensions are hypothetical. That is, these dimensions based upon your, that upon your design of the project. Now go to level 2 after opening uh, this messing technique then I'm going to simply draw an L shape uh, for on level 2 on which I have to place the triangles. So now uh, I'm going to insert an image of a pattern of triangles which I have downloaded from the internet. This is not a compulsory thing you can uh, draw on your own. I'm just going to facilitate myself. Uh, by placing this image and then drawing it upon it. Now select the line, make sure 3D snapping is checked and then select this draw on work plane. After that start drawing on this uh, on this image which is on level 2 floor plan. Now I need this pattern to move downwards uh, along this side so for that I have placed a reference plane like this 
and then assign a name to this reference plane I'm going to name it one after that go to the west elevation which is basically the left side and then import the same image on the west elevation place it like this Now again select the model line, set the reference plane to 1 and start drawing on the reference plane as shown. Now after completing this elevation go to 3D and here you can see that I have uh, these patterns on level 2 and the elevation. So now I need to connect uh, the plan with the elevation so that uh, for that again select the line make sure 3D snapping is checked on and select this draw on face and then start connecting these points as shown in the video. The triangular patterns are now complete. Now I am simply going to move them uh, select this individual uh, dot and then point and then start moving it along this red axis so, so you can see that as you are moving these points the lines are also moving along with it so keep on moving these points according to the design You can see how it looks like in the front elevation. Now I am going to repeat this step on the uh, patterns of floor plan of level. You can select multiple points at one time or even a single point and then you can add an offset value in this dialog box. So if you want to work according to the dimensions and you know what, uh, at what offset you want to move it, then you can use this offset command. Otherwise, you can simply move the uh, points with the help of these uh, arrows.
I guess these look fine now. Now go to the uh, top view of 3D and select three sides of the rectangle then click on create form now if you want to give it thickness then select it and add a positive offset value like i have given a value of six inches and it is given it and now the panel has a thickness but for this tutorial i'm simply going to make it a plain surface without any thickness but panels with a thickness as a better solution so one by one uh, make surfaces of all of these triangles now i'm going to skip the video a little bit so here i have provide uh, i have added the planes on all of the triangles as you can see in the video and it kind of looks like this even if you have uh, added the planes you can still move the points according to the design let's say select this point and here you can see you can move it along any axis according to the design and the planes will move along with it now select this whole mass and then select form from this dialog box and provide material parameter to it as shown and then and open this dialog box and assign the material of your choice So that's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. I will meet you guys in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care. And most importantly, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.